So let's go through a few examples here. PbO2, if we look at just the formula itself and we try to name it, we know it's going to be lead oxide. But what kind of lead oxide, what kind of lead are we using? So now, because we are, we've got the formula, we've got to use the reverse crossover. Okay, so we know we have a metal and a non-metal. Okay, so separate the two elements, PbO2. Next, we're going to add ones to the element that has no number. PB does not have a number, so we're going to put in the one. The next step, we're going to cross over this time, though, from the bottom to the top, because we are using the reverse crossover rule. Okay, we're going to add the charges. Remember that the first one is positive, second one is supposed to be negative. Okay, now we're going to make sure that the charges match. Okay, if they don't, we are going to multiply. The only thing is here, we've come across and a little situation that becomes a little tricky. Lead, okay, the PB, it can be plus two, okay? It can be, right? But it also can be plus four. But the thing is, oxygen is not negative one. Oxygen should be negative two, according to the, um, the periodic table, okay? So, Moving on, so we're going to multiply that by 2, but remember, any time we multiply one thing by something, we need to do that the same for the other. So we're going to multiply both of them by 2, and the charges become plus 4 and negative 2. So in terms of naming it, okay, we're going to write the name, and depending on what I ask, in terms of the stock system, it is lead 4 oxide, or it is plumbic oxide. I see for the higher the two charges, okay, or because the Roman numeral is four, because we are using the plus four charge. Okay, so let's uh, look at another example. Cu2S, same thing, we want to identify first metal, non-metal, Cu is the metal, S is the non-metal, then we're going to separate the two elements, Cu2 and the S. We're going to add ones with the elements that has no charge. Okay, we're going to cross over now from the bottom to the top. We're going to add the charges. Remember the metal is positive, the non-metal is negative. Now let's make sure that the charges match. Okay, those found in the periodic table, and yes they do. So we're gonna write the name. Which copper did we use? Well, we used copper one sulfide because the charge was the plus one. Or in terms of the Latin name, cuprus, because we were using the lower charge, O-U-S ending with the Latin name, okay, um, to get cuprus sulfide. So let's, uh, let's look at writing chemical formulas now. So, manganese four oxide. So we identify metal, non-metal. A hint that we know we have a metal, non-metal, the Roman numeral. If you see Roman numerals, if you see the Latin name with the O-U-S ending or I-C ending, um, you know it's a metal, non-metal. Okay, identify metal, non-metal. Okay, as we said, metal, non-metal. But like I said before, just a, a second ago, the hint is the Roman numeral or the Latin name. So, write the symbol, manganese, if you look at manganese and be weary not to mistake manganese for magnesium, as it's a common mistake. So we have MN, we have O, or we're gonna write the charges. So manganese, we don't need to look at the periodic table to find out the charge for manganese because the charge for manganese is right there, okay? The charge for manganese is right there. Plus four oxide, we refer to the periodic table, it is minus two, okay? Next step, we're gonna cross over from top to bottom. We're going to remove the charge and we're gonna simplify two to four, simplifies to one to two, 
And the last step is to remove the ones. So the formula for manganese for oxide is MnO2. Plumbic sulfide. Now we're making reference to the um, Latin name. Okay, so we're using the classical system. So first, we know that it's a metal, non-metal, because we have the Latin name, and so we know that sulfide is the non-metal. So we're going to write the symbols. Plumbic is Pb. Sulfide is S. We're going to write the charges. Now, here we need to make reference to the PRI table. So if we look at plumbic, the IC ending is for the higher charge. So because it's the higher charge, if we look at the PRI table, it'll say plus 4. The charge for sulfide is negative 2. Cross them over, top to bottom. Okay. Step 4, we're going to remove the charges. Step 5, we're going to simplify. 2 to 4 becomes 1 to 2. We remove the 1s. The formula for plumbic sulfide is PbS2.